currently drinking revitalized tea. It's got cinnamon and something in it, but it's making me go like, whoa. It really has got like some kind of kick. What is in this? It's nice, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but wow. It really gets you in the back of the throat. I have a little bit of a cold right now, so I apologize that I sound like I'm in a box underwater being sat on by a whale. But I have an hour before I need to leave for the theater, so I thought I'd do an Ask Carrie. What are your thoughts on Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No, I've, I've never watched it, and I definitely don't love it enough to have it all on a uh, DVD box set. What pet do you want? Dragon. Come on. If your answer to that question isn't dragon, you're not thinking hard enough. How do you calm your nerves before performing on stage? Oh, I don't. I'm all right now with Lame Is because I've done it enough that I don't get nervous, but for War of the Worlds, I would just panic until it was time to go on stage. There was one point where Jason Donovan, who was playing my husband on the tour, came up to me and said, were you nervous? And I was like, terrified, why? And he said, because when we hugged on stage, I could feel your heartbeat through your corset. I am just nervous. I just get nervous and I just let myself be nervous, but I do it anyway. Would you rather tell a friend that you romantically like them or keep it quiet and never know how they feel? Use your words! <laughs> Uh, what are you currently reading? I am reading the second book in the Body Finder series, which is Desires of the Dead, and it's really, really great. What's the happiest moment you've had? It was this year when a certain someone told me they loved me for the first time. That was great. Do you have any secret talents other than your amazing singing? That's very sweet of you, girl XX Blue. Uh, but there is something that I can do that tops any other talent that I have, and it's the fact that I can make a pretty damn good elephant noise. And I've just realised that because I'm wearing bright red lipstick and I need to pull a really stupid face to make this noise, it might not work, but let's give it a go anyway. <laughs> Didn't even ruin my lipstick. Yeah. Favourite outfit from your wardrobe? For my birthday, I got given a pair of those all rubber converse in bright yellow. And for Christmas, I got given another pair of all rubber converse, but in purple. So what I did, naturally, is I gave the purple ones the yellow laces, and the yellow ones the purple laces, and then I wear one of each. So in answer to your question, Hey, it's Kira. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing, because no one will be looking at what I'm wearing whilst I'm wearing these shoes. If you had the chance to play the main character in the movie adaptation of one book, what would it be? I would want to play Paige Mahoney in the movie adaptation of The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. If that part is up for grabs, please let me know. What do you miss most about being in the War of the Worlds? I miss my twin, Johnny Vickers, a lot. I miss Breakfast Club with him. I miss Sofa Cuddles with Brian McFadden. And I miss my costume. I really miss running about in that silver corset and the purple dress with the little purple fascinator. It was all so pretty. But when I'm at Les Mis, I have to be in rags and dirt. Not that that's not great too, it's just very different. It was nice to play a pretty character for once. How many flavours of tea do you currently have? I'm not the biggest fan of flavoured tea, she says drinking flavoured tea. I like flavoured tea with honey in it. If it hasn't got honey in it, it tastes odd to me. I just like normal builder's tea. PG Tips is my favourite. Do you have a favourite star in the sky? Yeah, it's the one that's second to the right and then straight on till morning. <laughs> Who can you always rely on to make you a brilliant cup of tea? I gotta give it to Pete. Pete makes a very, very good cup of tea. We have differing methods of how to make a cup of tea, but he does make a mean cup of tea. I gotta give it to him. Thank you, Pete, for all the cups of tea that you make me and that you will make me from now on. The light is slowly disappearing from my room because it's almost four o'clock. England gets stupidly dark around four o'clock, so I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. But I hope you've enjoyed it, and go and check out my Twitter, at Carrie H. Fletcher, for the next time that I do an Ask Carrie, and see if your question gets in a video. Loads of love!